hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing well so in this video i am going to show you how you can add the water drops on your models using the blender so without any further delay let's get started so here i open my blender and here we have one cane and i have put one texture on it that coca cola zero uh, packaging texture so i am just uh, adding one floor on it and some lighting some mood lighting so we can easily see that these drops which is i will put on later okay guys so first time enable my shortcut vr so you can easily see which key i'm pressing so first i'm adding one floor here i will shift a and plane and uh, i will do little bit down like that yeah that is fine then after that i will scale little bit and uh, i will extrude that edge like that so i'm creating one floor and uh, like that and i'm going to bevel that section and uh, i'm going to shade smooth yeah it's looking good so now i'm adding the camera so i have already camera on my scene so i'm just pressing control zero uh, control alt zero so that camera mode is active okay so now i am uh, going to view setting and enable that camera view so now we can easily move and rotate that camera okay so i am just setting one angle so for example i am setting one uh, front angle okay and i am going to a little bit scale like that yeah that is fine so now i'm switch the rendering mode yeah we have good view here okay guys and uh, now i'm adding the uh, color on that floor so i'm adding the black color and i will enable that metallic so it's looking very cool color okay guys so now i'm adding one uh, light also on my scene so i will shift a and add one area light okay and i will drag in like that and i will rotate it and i will scale little bit and i will move down and uh, i will rotate from my object like that and after that i will increase the amount of i will set the uh, 500 yeah and i will use the use node and here i will set the blue color so here you can see that blue color is reflecting very nicely here so now i'm going to duplicate that light shift d and x and same thing i will do that light also and after that i will change the color to red so when i'm going to zoom it so here you can see how cool it's looking okay guys so here you can see that mood lighting is looking good so now i'm going to add the drops on that uh, cane so what we have to do for that so i'm just adding one sphere so shift left click that and after that i will shift a and add one sphere like that and i will scale with it little bit and i'm going to the right click and shade smooth then after that i will add one shader on it and uh, i will add the glass bsdf mm and i will decrease the uh, roughness okay guys then after that and you can also take little bit roughness if you need it okay then after that i will move to the can and uh, then i will select that can i will go to the particle sections and here i will add one new particle and i will change to emitter to here and after that i will uh, click that advanced option then after that i will go to the render section and here is a render as a so right now it's set on path so i will set the object then after that 
it's uh, asking for the object so i will click that and here is a uh, one spare which is we make it so i'm just click on this spare so when i click on this spare so these spare cover all the all over the cane okay so what we will do for that so first i will uh, enable that object rotation then after that uh, i will do the scale random so when i do the scale random so some spare will be a little bit scale and some will be uh, statics and right now i'm in decreasing that uh, default scale also so i think 20 is fine yeah it's looking cool and uh, I am setting that uh, render amount, number of render particles. I will set the 500. Okay, guys. Then after that, I we can seed also. So, yeah, it's looking cool. Now I'm switch to to the uh, render mode, so we can see what's going on here. So when we see an on close up, so here you can see how cool looking that. Uh, little drop on that you can see here how cool it's looking so right now you can see it's very round okay so if we want to some deform our drops so how we can do that so what we will do for that so i will uh, go to the that sphere and after that uh, i will select that and uh, i will press one for vortex mode and I will select one vortex okay like that after that I will enable the proportion editing and I will go into the uh, so I'm decreasing the brush size from the middle mouse here you can see and now I can little bit uh, increase like that yeah yeah it's looking cool and we can do something from that also yeah like that i think that is enough so here you can see our drop size is changed and it's looking more natural now you can see so i'm just going to take one render okay how it's looking so here you can see uh it's looking perfect these drops are looking perfect and you can also uh, increase the roughness if you want okay so i'm just going to select that spare and after that i'll go to the uh here material section so when i will uh, increase the roughness here you can see what happened so you you can see that uh, drops looking little uh, faded okay little blur and if I'll set the zero roughness, so it's looking more realistic. So I prefer that you should uh, uh, decrease the uh, roughness, so it will be look good. Okay, and if you want to increase the number of amount that particle, so you can increase from the here. I will go to the particle sections and I will increase the thousand like that. So it will be increased. And here you can see we have a more particle now. Okay. And if you want to change the uh, position of these particles, so you can see it from here. And you have a different different uh, types of uh, drops on on the different places. Here you can see. Okay, so I think uh, I should decrease the number of particle. I am just taking only 700, so that is enough. Yeah. Okay, guys. So now I'm going to take one render okay so before taking render i'm going to save the file so make sure you enable your denoising so i'm just going to enable my denoising like that and uh, after that i'm just going to render it so i'm going to take one render press f12 So here you can see we have a more realistic uh, drops on our um, can it's looking cool and uh, you can add also that mood lighting is looking it's it's uh, making that model also very cool you can see here so here you can see guys how cool it's looking and it's it, it's perfectly uh, set on the top of that 
and this drop is looking so cool and i think we should decrease the size and i think i think we should decrease the particle size because it's looking more uh, bigger so we should decrease the size so i'm just setting to uh, 2.5 yeah it's looking perfect now i think it's looking more high yeah that is perfect this size is perfect because it's looking so much uh, high so you can uh, set the size according to your so now i'm going to take on one and the another render so now it's looking perfect here you can see these drops are looking more natural okay guys so so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the subscribe button and share my video also and if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply your comments and i will put the link of that project file in the description you can download from there so bye bye take care stay home